Hello guys, I'm back from another video and today we're talking about what if Izuku or Deku was experimented on. So, in the last video we left off Deku after he, well, woken up and was reading about some certain types of fungi, a certain one that is able to control, well, insects, specifically ants. After he done that, he decides to train with his adopted sister, Shoka or Shoto, because in this universe, Shoto Todoroki is a girl. So, after a while of training, they basically rested while Izuku is currently making a brand new insect. He's able to basically create his own insects, as Izuku creates his most powerful one, or should I say his most inventive one, because it's not that powerful compared to like their other insects. It's an insect that is basically a centipede that's able to transform into a spear. Which, all of you guys, or specifically to people in the comments, just told me to just call it the centispear. Nice pun. <laughs> it's an absolutely nice pun, and I can't believe I never, think of, never thought of that. Anyway, so, the centispear that he christened now, everybody, or specifically, um, um... Well, Endeavor thought it was a great um, idea. So after doing that, they were also told that they're going to be going to somewhere, somewhere important. But Izuku had to do something much more important than that. Which is that he was told by the Hero Commission to pry some information about some, well, a person from a secret organization known as the League of Villains. So after torturing him with his bugs, Including letting these little, like, um, you know, these little beetles that really burned into the flesh of, like, the person and basically started eating him from the inside. But he couldn't talk. And he doesn't want to talk about any of the information. So Izuku just, well, decided to put some, oh, I don't know, poisonous, um, centipedes into his ear, basically crawling all around and basically started biting on him. Causing the poison to, you know, go into his brain. As he tells everything. So, after doing that, he left as he was also told that he's going to be going to UA. As Izuku would say that he wants to become a hero. Just to show the world that people like him can become heroes. And just wants to see everybody surprised when they see him as a hero. Or just as a, um... You know, the, one of those, like, um, underground heroes. So after that, he basically gone to sleep. So that was basically the, um, last episode summarized into this, well, little part of the video. And so, let's talk about what happens next. So, Izuku wakes up as he was told by his father that they're gonna be going to UA for the well-recommended exam. So, when they get there, him and Shoko were brought to the large auditorium where they were told of everything including the robots and also the zero pointer because remember um do you remember in canon where izuku was not in the recommended exam well because he's not in the recommended exam so he doesn't meet like um well ida or ochako so yeah so when they get there, there was a few people there. There's not like too many people there. Because most of them are either rich or um, have powerful quirks that are pretty useful for becoming heroes. So they decide to bring them in. So, when um, President Mike said 3 to 1 go, they started going towards the, well, um, artificial city. As Izuku would start creating strings. Strings made out of poison, even though the, even though the robots don't really have like you know, had really, um, they basically don't have the ability to be poison because after all they are robots. But they can technically can be sliced apart thanks to well, you know, to Izuku's strings. They're basically like um, um, fishing wire, or any type of wire that's pretty sharp enough to basically slice a person. It's basically similar to like, um, can't remember his name, but he was in, um, Alucard, the butler guy that worked for, um, uh, um, but I keep forgetting her name. Um, 
the Van Helsing girl. <laughs> so, after slicing several robots, the rest of the students, or the rest of like the people that are in the um, recommended exam, they see this as they think, the fuck is he that strong? Like, like how is he that freaking strong? As Izuku would jump onto a building and says this, that was easy. <laughs> I can't believe these losers would ever think that I'm, you know, weak. And besides, their quirks are quite weaker than mine. And I'm not even, well, a quirk user. I'm quirkless back in my old life. But now, I am gifted with this. This power. Even greater than... Mm, actually, I don't even want to think. The students, or specifically, well, um, the, um, wait for a second, um, the teachers over there, nearby, would see Izuku fighting as they would check his records. As they realized that he was the so-called, well, one of the Prishtiki's project, or the Prishtiki project, well, most powerful, well, um, you know, subject. As All Might would hear this, as he remembered how well he heard of, like, um, several people were being tortured, and also, well, some of them would basically be turned into these monsters. And seeing this kid over there, he would kind of be terrified. And he would say this, We need to bring him into our team. Or should I say into the school. Or he might become a villain. As he says this, Being, well, Nezu, don't worry, Endeavor is after all, well, his father now. As he would say this, Excuse me, Endeavor? As he says this, Yes, um, All Might. Or should I say Toshinori? Uh, apparently, um, Endeavor told me that he decided to adopt the child, saying that he's quite useful and, and I quote, pretty good and pretty powerful as well. As All Might would say this, uh, classic endeavor. As Izuku would start slicing the rest of the robots with his, well, um, you know, with his strings, or should I say webs, Izuku would stop as he just sits on the nearby building, saying, ah, that's enough. Maybe I should just let them, you know, squabble and let them get the rest of the points. I especially don't want to ruin my, um, chances with, you know, um, Shoka. After all, Shoka needs to have some motivation in her life. Especially with father. Duh. As he thinks, as he says this, Why did I even call him father? I should just call him Endeavor. Am I getting soft? Duh. As he just spits, as he says this, I'm never, ever going to be soft. After that thing. He remembers how he was bullied in the orphanage. And, and it would make him angry. As several drops of poison would start coming out of his fingertips. As he says this. Oops, my bad. I should probably not do that. Maybe some people would might, oh, I don't know, get poisoned. Anyway, as he would sit on top of a building, basically just doing nothing. His, well, score was pretty high, so it makes sense that he would just stop, because it's already high enough. As one of the teachers would say this, Hey, um, Nezu, maybe we should bring in the zero pointer. As he says this, Did you seriously forgot? As Nezu would say this, Did you seriously forgot that the Zero Pointer was destroyed by this Bakugo kid? As he would flip to a page to Bakugo Katsuki, which, if you don't know, well, Bakugo and Izuku, they don't know each other at all. They're basically like strangers in this, um, well, AU or whatever. But, they also, um, remembered something. As, well, All Might would say this. So, how about the, as he says this, being, well, um, Nezu. 
Oh yeah, the um um Izumi girl. Yeah, Miss Izumi um Midoriya, yeah. Apparently she has had a pretty high score, but she's probably just going to be in class 1B. So, yeah, as he says this, thank god. That girl's going to be the end of me. So, after the whole well um Recommended exam, they started leaving. As for Izuku, he, Izuku, him, and well, um, you know, Shoka would start leaving. As they started going back home late at night, as Shoka would say this Hey, Izuku, um, why did you stop at that point? As he says this, Oh, I didn't want to, you know, steal all of the show for myself, so I decided to, you know, Lend my spotlight to you. As he says this, I'm a chi. Seriously, you sound like a showman. As he says this, well, I guess you can say that. A showman with a certain type of entertainment. As he says this, anyway, oh, we're here. As they were back home, as Endeavor would say this, welcome back, my children, including you. Izuku, as he says this, eh? As he would say this, Alright, I guess it's time for dinner. As Fuyumi would say this, Alright, everybody dig in. As they would go onto the dining room table, as they started eating. Izuku would just bring his food back to his room, as he started eating it, but leaving some for his insects to, you know, munch on. So, the next day comes as they were given a letter. The letter in the mail would say this. Alright, Mr. Izuku Todoroki and Miss Shoka Todoroki, you are pretty high in scores, especially because of your recommended exam. Especially with you, Mr. Izuku Midoriya. Being a part of the Apristic Geek Project is quite a terrifying, well, experience for a young boy, but still, having an artificial quirk like yours is quite strong. And so, I would tell you that you have a high score, but because you stopped at midway, you're the second highest. The first highest is actually you, Miss Shoka Todoroki. As Shoka would say this, Oh, so I'm technically the highest score ever in that exam? As you would say this, being Izuku, it seems that it seems that you are, sister. As she would say this, um, I guess, but as the hologram would say this, and also, both of you are actually going to be going to UA, specifically Class 1A. And I hope you're going to be happy with your first day of My Hero Academia, as it self-destructs, blasting onto Izuku's face. As he says this, uh, my face. Um, I I think I might be blind. Uh, as he would adjust his eyes and says this. Oh, don't worry, I'm not blind. As Shoka would say this. Um, are you okay? Did you? As he says this. Uh, don't, don't worry. Besides, I technically have multiple eyes in this eye. As one of his eyes would show, like. Um, the typical, like, insect eyes, like, the ones that are usually, like, um, how do I say it? It's basically, like, those, like, um, um, you know, cartoon fly eyes. The insect, not the, you know, action. Anyway, so, after being told of this, Endeavor would train them more and more. Yuzuka would start creating more insects for him to command, and not only that, well, Izuku, instead of getting a normal ass bag, well, he would create a literal, um, you know, insect bag. Like, it's a sentient bag, basically. It literally is a sentient bug. That literally is a bag for him. The insides are basically non-existent. So Izuku would just, like, plop, just, like, put all of his stuff in there. And fully, this little pouch, or whatever it's called, is definitely not, you know, producing poison or anything like that. So, it's pretty much safe. So, the next day comes as 
It's finally their first day at the UA. When they made it there, many people were basically, like, talking to each other, saying, Wait, th those are the guys from the, um, wait for a second, um, these two are probably from the Todoroki family. As one of them would say this, Yeah, I think that's Shoka Todoroki and that's, um, Izuku Todoroki or whatever his name is. As Izuku would say this, Oi, I already know that I, ugh, whatever. Ashley, please stop talking about me. Besides, ever think bad of me again? As claws would start coming out of his, well, one of his arms, basically the, um, one that seems to be more insect-like. I will kill you. As he would start getting afraid and starts running away. As Shoka would tell, um, as Shoka would tell Izuku, um, Izuku, maybe you should not. As he says this, hmm? Oh, fine. Whatever. They were annoying anyway. So, when they made it to, well, the presumed door of Class 1A, they realized that the door is pretty huge. As Shoko would say this, um, why is it that big? As he says this, probably for, um, probably for, um, quirk users that have gigantification quirks or something. As she would say this. Makes sense, but still. So, when they get in, they see two people arguing. One boy and one girl. Actually, I met two boys. <laughs> Sorry about that. This boy seems to have blonde hair and red eyes, and the other seems to have blue hair and blue eyes. As they look towards them, as they would say this. Or should I say, the blue-haired boy would say this. Hey, I didn't see you in the entrance exam. As he would say this. Oh, sorry, but we're from the, um, recommended exam. The name's Izuku Todoroki. Now, um, can you please introduce yourself, sister? As one of them would say this. Being the blue-haired boy. Wait, Todoroki? As in... Wait, that means you're... As he says this. Yeah, yeah, we know. The son, or should I say... Adopted son of NG Todoroki, aka Endeavor, or whatever the hell his name is. As she would say this, being Shoka, the name Shoka Todoroki. It's nice to meet you. As he says this, nice to meet you. The name is Tenya Ida, and I'm really honored to see you. Especially you, Mr. As he says this, Izuku Todoroki. God. Why does everybody keep forgetting their name, or at least my name specifically, as he says this, but I've never seen you before, or, and you're, you're definitely not from that family. Like, you have, um, wait for a second. Like, you have green hair while she has white and red hair. Like, as he would say this, yeah, because I was adopted, as he would say this, so... Endeavor adopted a child? As he says this, Yep, a child from the Apprentice Decay Project. As when the rest of the students also came in and heard that, they basically froze. As one of them would say this, Wait, you're from the Apprentice Decay Project? As he says this, Oh, it seems that you're quite known of that little, well, um, organization. Well, I am a part of that, as one of their artificial quirk users. In fact, I used to be quirkless. Until... As... As spider-like protrusions, like... Almost spider-like limbs would come out of his back. As he says this. Until I was given this gift. This power. This power of gaining the ability of, like, several insects. Especially ones that have poison is quite, ah, uh, quite a gift. But, I prefer to use them in a more heroic light most of the time. I might even become a underground hero, just like Mr. Eraserhead. Yeah, Mr. Eraserhead. Speaking of which, as he starts going to the podium and sees a yellow, well, thing, Seems to be a yellow sleeping bag. As he would tap on it and say, 
Hey, Mr. Eraserhead, are you awake? Hey. As he would unzip his sleeping bag and says this. Uh, are you serious, kid? Uh, either way, I'm your homeroom teacher, Mr. Aizawa. As everybody would just say this. Wait, you're our homeroom teacher? As he would say this. Yes. So, uh, go outside and start going to the track field. As everybody was given their, well, um, PE clothes. As everybody starts going to the, you know, the, um, um, track field. Or the, should I say, the locker room specifically first. <laughs> I meant the, I meant the locker rooms first. So, Izuku would start changing his clothes as everybody would see several markings uh, like, all around his body, as, well, um, wait for a second, as Kirishima would say this, whoa, what is this, as he says this, hmm, oh, that's my carapace, it's basically what you get, actually, yeah, it's more like, um, a shell of a beetle, or should I say any type of bug. In my case, it's more or less more like a design choice than anything else. Don't know why. As one of them would say this, what happened to your other arm? It seems to be more... Um, how do you say it? This blonde-haired boy with a black streak on his hair would start thinking as he says this. Oh yeah, my arm seems to be, well, more insect-like. Wanna know why? As Bakugo would say this, being the kid with the blonde hair and red eyes, <sighs> who gives a damn, nerd, as he says this, hmm? Nerd. Huh, n never heard a person saying that to me before. Most of the time they prefer to call me a monster, freak, even monsters, freak. Actually, they seem to have the same wording than anything else. They even called me, um, experimental demon or something. <laughs> Either way, nice giving me a nickname, Mr. As he says, Bakugo, Bakugo Katsuki, and you better learn it, because I'm going to become the number one hero. As he says this. Oh, really? <laughs> oh well. Wanna know why my arm is like this? As he says this, coming closer to that boy with the blonde hair and black streak, as he whispers in his ear, because in one of my missions, I had to tore my arm off. As everybody would hear that as they would say this, excuse me, you did what? As he says this, oh, I was a part of the Russian government, so that makes me an assassin for the Russians. So, I had to, you know, kill some people. And one of these people seemed to have a technology-based quirk, and I had to rip off my arm to save my skin. But, thanks to some, you know, bioengineering, my arm was replaced. It's... Absolutely perfect. Feels like I had my own arm back. But I sometimes have trouble moving it the first time. As you would say this. Anyway, we should start going to, you know, outside. To the track field. Come on. As he would start putting on his, like, um, um, PE jacket. As he would start leaving. Let's go to the girls' room. Or the girls', um, um, locker room. As they started talking, one of them would say this. So, um, Todoroki? Should I just call you that? As she would say this, being Shoka. Hmm? Oh, what is it? As she would say this, well, your brother over there, the one with the green hair, um, he's definitely not from our family, right? As she would say this. Oh, yeah. He was adopted after the Prisoner Geek project was, you know, um, dismantled. He was adopted by my father, Endeavor. As 
one of them would say this. So, Todoroki, it's been a long time. It's me. As she says this, Momo Yayorozu. As she would say this, wait, Momo? Huh, it's been a long time since I've seen you. As she would say this, yeah. By the way, your brother over there, he seemed to have an insect-like quirk. Why is that? As she would say this, well, it's because he was originally quirkless. As one of them would say this, originally quirkless? As he says this, I meant she. Yeah, the Persigi project was supposed to be for, and I quote, giving the quirkless what they deserve, and which is a quirk. And their job is basically giving out artificial quirks to them. And more specifically, they could either become cyborgs or um, mixing their DNA with several DNAs of other quirk users or with animals. In Izuku's case, he was fused with several DNAs of like different types of insects, especially poisonous ones, and another quirk user, which I can't remember the name of. As one of them would say this, so he's basically a poisonous bug. As she says this, correct. Apparently he used to work for the, um, KGB or whatever it's called. As one of them would say this, you mean that KGB? You mean the most, as she would say this, oh yeah, um, that group. Apparently he was an assassin for them until the KGB was, well, you know, destroyed. Apparently by... Um, um, some foreign heroes from another country. I think it was America? But, after the Personality Project and also the KGB were basically dismantled, he was brought to our family, and into, and my father, Endeavor, introduced us to him. As, well, wait a second, um, as Momo would say this, Oh, I see. Anyway, we should start leaving. And so, they started going to the track field, as, well, every single boy is basically outside, including Izuku. As, Izuku was thrown a ball, as, he would say this, being, well, um, wait for a second. As, Aizawa would throw a ball at him, as he says that. Alright, I want you to throw this ball. You have quite the potential, kid. As he says this. <sighs> I guess. So, he would start going up to the field, as an insect would come out of nowhere, from a, well, from his back, as everybody would see a blue-ish insect, with a, um, sharp blade, or should I say two sharp blades as his front limbs, as he would say this, what the heck is that? As he says this, oh, eat my scent a spear. A modified scent, uh, um, ah, yeah, scent spear. God dang it. Oh, I keep forgetting its original name. Mmm, yeah, centipede. Yeah. I modified a centipede and turned him into my weapon. So, it transforms as he would throw the ball into the ground as it starts bouncing and bouncing and bouncing as Izuku uses the back end or at least the opposite end of the spear, to use as a bat, as he says this. Fire! As he, well, swings the, um, center spear so hard that it causes the ball to go flying. And because of Izuku's immense strength, thanks to the, well, um, well, the ants, because, because remember, he's combined with several DNA of different types of insects. And one of these insects is an ant. If you don't know, ants can literally lift, well, um, 10 times their body weight. So, in Izuku's case, he can lift 10 times his body weight. So, I don't know um, how heavy Izuku is in this universe. So, let's just say he's pretty heavy. Or pretty light, I guess. I don't know. So, after doing that, it goes flying as... Well, it's basically gone. As... He would check the meter as Izawa would see a number. Let's just say it's like um a few th like a few dozen feet. 
as he would say this. A thousand feet. Okay, next. As everybody would, like, everybody would hear that as they think, Damn, he's strong. As Baku would start getting angry and starts coming up to the playing field. As he says this, Alright, my turn. So, he would get, well, lower than Izuku's as he starts getting pissed off. So, the next, um, well, events, or should I say, like, um, tests were pretty much easy. Every single one of them, Izuku aced. As it's almost the end of the day, as, well, let's just say, something happens. So, Aizawa would say this, because all of you passed, or at least one of you, well, all of you are perfect for this, well, class, except for one, as he looks at the little boy. This boy is Noro Mineta. As he says this, um, yes, I forgot to tell you all that if all of you, or at least some of you, or at least one of you, specifically, has the lowest score in this test, they would be expelled. As everybody hears that, they say this. Wait, you're saying that, as they look at Mineta, as Mineta would say this, so, I... As he says this, Yep, you're expelled from the school. And you don't deserve to become a hero. Especially with that little incident I was told by Izuku. As he would look at Izuku, as he says this, ah, I just hate perverts. As, let's just go to a flashback. So, Izuku, while, like, changing, he sees Mineta basically peeking through a hole. This hole leads to the girls' locker room. Izuku absolutely hates perverts. Especially because one time, when he was on his mission, he was still, well, um, in a back alley in, well, Russia, where he sees a few girls being harassed by a few guys, so, yeah, let's just say these guys were castrated. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Benita was told that he was expelled, and so, he left. So, the rest of the other students were shocked hearing this, as all of the girls say thank you towards you, including Shoka, as... They started leaving as they finally gone home. As when Izuku gone home, he goes to sleep. So, before you guys leave, I hope you're ready for my first um, Danmachi What If, which is what all of you guys voted for is What if Belle had a symbiote? And if you didn't realize, well, um, who this guy is, well, that's null, and you know which um, symbiote that Izuku, or should I say Bell, is going to have. Yeah, Bell is going to have null as a symbiote. I hope you're ready for that one if very, very soon. As in very soon, I mean tomorrow, so I hope you're ready for that one if. And if you guys are like um questioning some of the story elements in that what if, or if I'm saying things wrong or anything like that, just comment down below, because I'll listen to your comments. I mean, have you seen the last episode? i seen all of your comments there. Anyway, so, I hope you're ready for this next what if. And so, I hope you liked the video. Comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye